Coiner's Corner, bringing awareness to the anxiety, pain and depression of CRPS and RSD. Though we are in pain, we are still strong. Together we will fight this, right here on Coiner's Corner Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my new show about life. Here, we're just going to talk about a little bit of everything in life. No certain one thing. Um, I do do the shows on chronic pain on Mondays and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm going to be doing these shows on Tuesdays and Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, we'll be adding more shows eventually. Um, what I'm going to start out with for now. So I want to welcome all of y'all, um, the ones of you that know me and the ones of you don't. My name is Dan Corner, and I am the founder and creator of Corner's Corner, uh, the shows on chronic pain and anxiety and depression. So I want to welcome everyone. Um, I'm doing this on Facebook Live as well. 
So um, let's get ready to get started. Like I said, I want to welcome everyone, and um, I hope you all enjoy the show. Uh, I want to talk about a little bit of everything that's going on in our lives today. The economy, everything. Um, I'm not going to get into the too much of the political stuff because I'm really not into that stuff. Um, so I'm going to get things rolling here. Uh, you know, I want to talk about a lot. <clears throat> First, about us being in, um, in in a crisis, I guess you could say. The economy's bad. Um, jobs are hard to find. Uh, all the companies want to let people go or work them 30 hours a week. Um, <laughs> and our government knows that we can't survive this way. And they cut our hands in every other way. So it is very frustrating, very frustrating for, for all of us. Um, you know, what do we do? Uh, some people work two or three jobs. Uh, you know, it's just crazy. And, folks, I, I really think that we all need to, excuse me, stand up. We, we do have the right in this country. We do outpower, and I know some of you don't believe this, but I don't say we really don't outpower the government, but we do control a lot of what happens, or we can control a lot of what happens. And I, I feel like this year, election time is very, very important this year for a lot of things. Um, we have the thing here called Amendment 1 here in Florida where they want to approve um, people to get solar panels for their electricity. But here's the catch. The power companies get something like one gets like two of them get like $5 million, a, I guess, a year. Another one gets $5 million. Another one gets $3 million. The government gets their hand in it. Um What's the sense of having free power? It's actually probably cheaper to go ahead and keep your regular electric. So, I mean, you know, always a way to screw us. And um, that's where we need to stand up and fight and vote no on Amendment 1 in Florida. I believe people should have a right to have solar panels. I don't disagree. But uh, I don't think the power company should be getting rich off of it and nor the government. So... These are things that we have to think about this time of year. It's a very important, um, it's a childish election, first to admit. Uh, but uh, it's time to stand up for ourselves and stand up for our country, take our country back. And I say it with authority, I say it with power, because I want people to realize it's serious business. So, you know, in our economy, they keep saying, you know, uh, our governments, our governor says, "Oh, the economy of Florida is doing great." No, it's not. <laughs> it's not going good anywhere in this country. Um, anywhere, I mean, nowhere. So you know, we yeah, we've got to really step up and start doing some things. Um, you know, here in Florida, the people on the East Coast got hit really hard, um, or. Fairly hard from the uh, the hurricane. Uh, Carolina's got really bad damage as well, and it's very unfortunate. There's lots lots of lives lost during that storm. But you know, they're still waiting on the president to give them the money for the damage. Uh, it's been sent to him, and they're waiting for him to release it or whatever. He's not getting in no hurry. This guy knows this is his last term. He's leaving. And he's going to continue to destroy us as much as he can before he leaves. Now, that's my personal feelings on all the thing. But uh, I, I really want to talk about, and I really want people in this country, uh, citizens of, in this country, legal citizens of this country, no matter where you're from, you're a legal citizen, you're a citizen of the country as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I, I really think that... Um, I don't even know how to say it, folks. I really don't. We really need to step things up and really, um, really push for a lot of change in all areas. We need to take our country back. We need to be the America that I knew 20, 30 years ago. Um, 
maybe it wasn't the best, but it was a lot better than it is now. And uh, I just hope and pray that this country can get back to that because it is very uh, depressing living like this, and living the way we have to live, uh, constantly watching your back because you don't know who's going to jump, jump you, shoot you, stab you, beat you up, take your vehicle, break in your home, anything. You don't know, so you got to be on guard 24-7. There's no way to live. And uh, I want to take a moment, and I want to show my or say my appreciations to all firefighters, police officers, paramedics, veterans of past and present war, and all people in the armed services. You have my utmost respect and honor, and I will help support any of you all any way I can at any time. You are the backbone of this country, and we do need you, and we do care. Um, I know, I've been wanting to say that for a long time, and that's why I created this other show, so I can come on air and I can talk about the things that I want to talk about um, and not affect the chronic pain community. I don't want to affect the chronic pain community. I'm here to help the chronic pain community, but I'm also here to... Um, voice my opinion on a lot of other things. It, um, it's, very, it's very aggravating when you see police officers getting shot at for no reason. Um, it's terrible. The, the thugs have taken over this country and terrorists. We must put a stop to it. It's got to stop. Too many innocent people are getting shot and killed on both sides of the law. I'm not just strictly for law enforcement. I, I support law enforcement. And if it wasn't because of them, folks, this place would be, a, this country would be a mess. But, you know, we're letting too much stuff get out of hand. And when I say we, I'm talking each and every one of us citizens in this country. We do have rights. We do have voices. And we need to use them more than ever at this point. Um, you know, we, I, I, uh, talk about, I talked about the other day how we can um, stay, stay together, stay united, become one. Let's, um, let's, let's take our country back, folks. Let's take it back. Just take it back to where it, to where we, it used to be. Used to be nice during the fall. You could leave your windows open. You know, kids could stay outside and play past dark. You didn't have to worry about nothing. Now, <laughs> it, now you can't even walk outside your house in daylight. Uh, it's gotten so bad. So yes, we do need to do things different. We need to step up and start taking control of our country. We need to be the ones to vote people in to office, to change things. This is just absolutely absurd that what is happening. You know, another thing I'm going to talk about, it's not our country, but it does really piss me off. And I'm going to say it. Um, I, I uh, you know, when you help someone and you do things for them and they do things for you and then they say they're going to do something for you and then they bail out on you, <laughs> um, to me that's called a mooch or a freeloader, whatever you want to call it. Freeloaders I don't like. I don't like people mooching off each other. So, you know... Um, this happened to me a few weeks ago, and I don't know why uh, people want to do that, but they do. I think it's a bunch of crap, and I think that 